Hey guys, it is Friday, I believe. We went to the dumpster today. There was nothing in it. So we are going to make a pie. This is fruit that I got from the freezer section of the grocery store. And I have a recipe on the internet that I'm going to use. If I can find it, it was here. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of these apples here that I got from the dumpster the other day. So I'm gonna peel those up and we'll get started on this pie. All right, guys. So in here so far, I have let's see three green apples and two red apples. And um, strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. I like to have a multi-berry pie. It just adds to the flavor. Um, I just think apple pie is boring. I like, I like a lot of different flavors in it. So, looks like we might need a little bit. Maybe one more apple. There. Perfect day to do this. It's rainy. There's Max. It's rainy out. It's about 70 degrees. I got the windows open. It's nice and cool. I have my new phone, so I'm trying to see. Hopefully, this is working. I'm trying to see, you know. Oh, there's a light. All right. Um, make sure that my phone is going to be working. Good. This is the first of my, um, when I got it on Monday, I think. And it's now Friday. Or I may have got it Tuesday. I can't remember, but it took me a while to figure out how to use it. Okay, so I'm going to add another apple and we will add the other ingredients here. They opened the dog park today. So me and Max went to the dog park. There was only one dog there so far. That was because it was rainy. And the guy said that they had all gone early. We got there at about 10.30. And when we got to the dumpsters, they had already taken the trash because it's Friday. So I know to go earlier than that. Okay, I am adding um, a half teaspoon of vanilla. It says to add almond extract, but I'm adding vanilla because that's what I have. Now it says one and a fourth cups sugar, and then a fourth cup of the tapioca. That's to keep it like uh, from being runny after you bake it. So let me go get my sugar. Okay, guys. So I put, I mix some of the white sugar and some brown sugar, and then for it said to put nutmeg in it. I had the pumpkin pie spice. It has nutmeg and cinnamon so I just added that I just kind of use what I have um and I just I don't stick to my can't stick to a recipe you guys know that I have to do my own thing here okay next it says um salt um tapioca a fourth of a cup of the tapioca and that's this Quick cooking tapioca. I hope that's what I got. Okay, minute tapioca, so I'm sure that's what it is. All right, so I've added all the ingredients together. And it says to stir it good and then let it sit for 15 minutes. That tapioca, I've never used it before. I've always wanted to, but I've never had it on hand. I bought it at the store today. Um, looks like that box is going to last me a while. But my fruit is my fruit pies are always too runny for me. So I thought I'm going to add it because flour doesn't seem to work. And it gives it a weird kind of flavor. So I'm hoping this does better. Um, it looks good. Okay, I'm going to let that sit. 
15 minutes, I'm going to get the pie crust ready and the oven ready. Mm. I have to learn. Okay, now it's recording. <laughs> All right, so guys, yes, I cheat. I buy these pie crusts that are already made. So much easier. <laughs> and they actually taste better than my pie crust. <sighs> so, I'm going to put those in here. And fill it with the pie. Ingredients. First it says let it sit 15 minutes and add um, a tablespoon of lemon juice. So I'm going to add a little lemon juice to it. And then put it in there. Alright guys, so we're ready to put this in. I put the crust in there. This sat for 15... Uh oh, I forgot the lemon juice. <laughs> That's okay. Not sure what lemon juice would do to it. I've got enough sourness in that green apples, so I think I'll skip the lemon juice. Unless I, I don't know, I don't know why I'd need it. So we're gonna skip that part. <laughs> well, I've never done it before. So here we are. And next, what I'm gonna do. Because I always put pieces of butter on top of, I just let the butter melt into the pie. It makes it um, taste really good. So, And this is not in the recipe. This is just what I usually do. It just adds a lot more flavor. Something my grandmother always did. Yeah. So, and just that should be good. Now, I might sprinkle a little. I'm not sure. The lemon juice activates something or whatever, but I'm gonna put a little bit on there. Okay, that's good. Now for the topping. It is falling apart. I don't know. It's probably because I bought the cheap pie crust. It wasn't cheap, actually. Not like it should be. Like at Walmart, it's a lot cheaper. But I went to the local grocery, and it's a little bit more. But the more expensive pie crust, instead of the generic, actually holds together better. But this is the top of the pie, so it doesn't matter. Problem is, this is going to overflow for sure, guys. This is going to overflow in the oven, no doubt about it. Pie crust is really thin, a lot thinner than it normally is. Gosh, they're making things cheaper and cheaper. Okay. So I'm going to put a couple of little, not that it needs it, but <laughs> air holes. Next, to make it crispy on top, you want to... Um, put an egg and just um, brush brush an egg on top of that and the oven is baking at 400 it's already preheated um, Definitely going to put something down to keep it from overflowing into my oven like it did last time. Last time we had a mess. My roommate cleaned up the oven thanks to him. It's nice and clean now. <laughs> so, yeah, just put the eggs on top. It makes it very crispy, flaky. Mm. It's never as flaky as I wanted. I'm not sure why, but um, that is enough. Okay. <laughs> Probably too much, but who cares? It's fine. Now, we're going to put that in the oven, and we'll see you guys soon. Okay. 
All right, guys, it's in the oven. I got foil underneath it. It says 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And let's see what else. Let's see, it says 350 for 30 minutes. I make my timer. Meanwhile, here's my lemongrass is starting to grow. It's in this little bitty thing. I think I'm going to put it in something else. Put it in this. Um, I just love it. It's definitely easy to grow. And have some smaller ones that haven't started yet. I'm going to stick them in there. See if they won't take off. Um, some water in there okay <laughs> they think they like the sun I'm running out of places man I've got so much on this table all my plants are doing really good um, there's my catnip I haven't repotted my trees yet Max and I just stuck some lemongrass in here to see if it would take off. So far, no go, but you never know. Might do better. Whoops. It's thundering, guys. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited. We haven't had thunder or rain in so long. I am so happy. I mean, all summer. I mean, all actually, all winter. It doesn't rain here in the winter at all. Not a drop all winter long. And when it does finally start to rain, I'm just loving every second of it. So, what do you think, Max? And here is my gardenia flowering again. It smells so good, guys. I want to take one in there by my bed and smell it while the pie is baking. Come on, you little rascal. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. There's my soursop trees. I'm getting ready to pot repot those. I should do it today. But I am making flounder for dinner. And those little potatoes that we found in the dumpster, those butter potatoes, I'm going to get those going and um also i found some brussels sprouts so i'll be cooking those up yeah so we'll see you guys soon <laughs> i hope you're having a good day oh i want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and supporting my family and me always no matter what we support you as well. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you back here. I should be able to record. There's the there's the squirrel and the birds. I should be able to record um, longer because I have this new phone. And I don't have any pictures on it. So hopefully I can show you the final. I have ice cream. I was going to make ice cream, but it was just too much to make a pie and ice cream and dinner all in one day. So I bought some ice cream. See you guys soon. All right. It's raining, Max. Oh, and I got this apron here out of the Pier 1 dumpster a while back. I don't know if you guys remember. I found an apron. <laughs> Here's what Callie is doing today. Hey, Callie. Hey. <laughs> Guys, I am just loving this rain and the thunder. Oh, I love thunderstorms. What a beautiful day. I love this weather. And the pie is smelling awesome. It feels so good and nice and cool in here. Guys, the pie is looking really good. I don't think it's done yet, though. The timer went off, but... Mm, I think I'm going to have 15 minutes more. 
All right, guys, it's time to take out the pie. I added 15 minutes to it because there is apples in. They take a little bit longer. So we're going to get that out of the oven. All right, guys, so there is the pie. Doesn't it look good? <laughs> it did not overflow a drop. That tapioca is the best thing to use for thickening it because... No drop spilled over. It's awesome. Next, what I got was I got these French beans from the um, dumpster the other day, and they look good. I'm going to take the ends off. I'm going to soak them in water for a while. I'll cook those up in this skillet here pretty soon. But first, we're going to cook the potatoes. So, we have... Three bags of these. I'm going to have leftovers, obviously. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go through the potatoes and see which ones are good, which ones are bad. haven't done that yet. I did wash them, but I haven't gone through them yet. So well, let's see what we got. Nice, these potatoes so far. I haven't found one bad one yet. They're hard. Actually, kind of green, some of them. They must have gotten in a shipment or something. Um, I may just make one bag. I was worried that they were going to go bad and that um, I might have to cook them. But they're actually looking really good. So I think these potatoes will last a while in the refrigerator. I think I might just make one bag since I'm making green beans and Brussels sprouts as well for dinner and the, the uh, flounder so we'll just do with one bag of potatoes for the two of us I haven't found one bad one yet guys not yet all right so there's the potatoes that I got from that one bag there's my green beans and I'm gonna fry up in a little bit so we're going to go out here and get some parsley from the garden. All right, guys, so I have butter and garlic and olive oil in the pan warming up. We're going to put that on the potatoes, and then I'm going to put parsley on them. So we're going to go out in the garlic, uh, go, go, out in the gar go out in the garden and get some parsley. All right, so I have two different kinds of parsley growing here. I have mm, Italian parsley. And regular parsley and I honestly don't know the difference this is a little bit stronger so what I'm going to use is these finer leaves for the um, potatoes okay so I have some parsley I have some rosemary so give these uh, potatoes a little bit of flavor I'm going to chop them up and put them in with the potatoes. Okay, so I've added the parsley and rosemary and some pepper. Next, I'm stirring in my butter with garlic. I'm going to use this pan so I don't care if there's garlic on the bottom. But I'm going to mix all that up together. Make sure you salt it a lot because potatoes need salt. That look good. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put this in the cast iron skillet and bake it. Probably around 400 for maybe 30 minutes. I'll watch it. I haven't, then I make recipes as I go, guys, so we'll see. Oh, it needs a little onion. What do you think? A little onion sounds good. All right, so I'm taking a small amount of onion. I'm going to dice that up and put that in there as well. 
Okay, so I've added the onion and I'm going to stir that in and put it in the skillet. It tastes really good. I mean, I have to taste it before, always, before I cook it. Just to make sure that it has enough salt. The flavors are good. It tastes really good. So I'm going to put this in that skillet and bake it. All right, so I'm getting ready to put it in this little skillet. These cast iron skillets are great. They just give everything such good flavor. Mmm. And this has olive oil, butter, garlic, parsley, rosemary, onion, salt, and pepper. And it's the little potatoes. From the back. And it's just going to bake them like that. Mmm, those are going to be so good. The flavor is awesome. Mmm, okay. Alright guys, so I've taken the top off of these green beans. I'm going to soak them in some good cold water. These are the ones I got out of the trash, guys. There's nothing. I only got a couple of them that were bad. The rest of them are good. So I'm going to fry those up when I fry up the uh, fish. Here is the pie. <laughs> and the potatoes are in the oven in the skillet. I'm going to bake them at around 375 and then I'm going to turn it up once the potatoes are done and then get them like golden brown. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. I don't know if you guys remember, but I got all this out of the trash. I got these, <laughs> this parsley, um, and the rosemary. It wasn't doing good at all. I mean, it was dying. And look at it now. I'm going to have to use some of it. It's crazy. I got the potatoes. I got the um, apples. Everything that I'm cooking um, almost everything I got out of the trash. So, <laughs> I mean, you guys can make a gourmet meal. I mean, I'm making fish I didn't get. Um, but I'm getting ready to do the Brussels sprouts. I'll show you how to make those in a little bit. I'm going to take a break and let the potatoes cook. So I'll see you guys soon. All right. The potatoes are in the oven. And next, guys, I am going to attempt to make... The Red Lobster Rosemary Garlic Parmesan Biscuits to go with the fish, potatoes, and green beans. The Brussels sprouts, unfortunately, were a little bit too soft, so I threw them away. <laughs> they kind of, um, yeah, they weren't good. So, anyway, I put them in the freezer, but when I thawed them out, they were a little bit soupy. So Anyway, we have the green beans, we have the potatoes, we have fish, we have... Uh, we have biscuits and we have pie and ice cream so i'm gonna figure out how to make these and we'll go from there all right guys so this recipe says three fourths cups of parmesan cheese well i obviously don't have that much left that's it that's all i have so i am going to grade my asiago cheese that i have left in there and use that hope it works I don't know this is a video where you use what you've got and hope it works <laughs> I'm trying to get my video set right <laughs> okay. okay so I grated some Asiago in there that's about three-fourths cup looks good to me all right so this recipe says mix the bag with some water, some cheese, and um, let's see, cold water, Parmesan cheese, and biscuit mix. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, and a half a bag of the whatever is inside, rosemary, garlic, herb. I stirred that up. Put this on a pan, and we're going to bake it. All right, guys, so the biscuits are ready to go in the oven. 14 to 15 minutes at 425. The potatoes are done. 
are soft inside. I'll probably give them a little broil to make them crunchy on top. Meanwhile, I've got the biscuits in the oven. We're going to go 14 minutes on those. I'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, so now it's said to take the rest of the package and put it on top of butter and let it melt. And then after the biscuits come out, we put this on top of the uh, biscuits we, with a little brush. <laughs> so I'm going to stir this around a little bit. A fourth of a cup of butter and the rest of the package. I may have a little bit more butter than I need, I'm not sure. Anyway, those are the potatoes. And I like, have, I like to finish, uh, and then I'm quick and time everything just right. Um, the biscuits I can keep warm, the potatoes I can keep warm. The fish and the green beans go on last. So we're getting ready to do that next. Alright guys, so I put the potatoes in this skillet. I love my gas garden skillets. I got them from, um, so I got them from Bry Lane Homes and they were $29 and I got this one, a small one, and this big one for $29, guys. Bry Lane Homes. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put my green beans in the skillet. It's already seasoned. That had the potatoes in it. And I'm going to fry those up. And then the potatoes just go in the oven with the biscuits. are going to come out here in a little bit. We get ready to fry up some fish. Alright, so for the green beans, I'm just putting a little olive oil in there. A little butter. A little um, garlic salt. I'm going to cook them up. Not too long as I like them a little crunchy. And then I'm just going to keep those warm as well. Next comes the fish. But um, I really truly believe there's our potatoes, the butter that goes on, the biscuits, and they are in the oven looking good. I think it's time for them to come out. <laughs> Alright guys, we are ready to broil the fish. I put lemon. I put garlic salt. Pepper and um, butter on it. And I'm going to put it in the oven and broil it with the potatoes that I have in there. And I'm going to finish the green beans. Alright, so the green beans are done. The biscuits look good. I had to try one. They're very flaky. Hmm. Now they taste like red lobster biscuits. There's our pie. There's the fish and the. I've got it on broil. I'll probably take the potatoes out here in a minute and let the fish do its thing. 